Hello beautiful! Today we'll be looking at the ColourPop and Valentine's Day collection of 2021. So if you would like to see everything I got from the collection, just keep watching. And if at any point in the video you find that you're enjoying it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you did for Valentine's Day. I know that we are posting this video a few days after Valentine's Day, but this didn't arrive on my doorstep until February 13th? Is Valentine's Day on the 14th? Well, it came the day before Valentine's Day. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. We're first just gonna go through everything we got, and then I'll show you swatches, and we will wrap it up with trying everything on. The first product here is the Shimmering Dry Body Oil. This is a luxe lightweight dry oil with the next level multi-dimensional shimmer. The packaging is adorable. It comes in this baby doll pink color with white lettering and little lips and roses all over it. Very Valentine's Day. I think this is seriously one of the cutest packaging that ColourPop has come out with. It's just such a delight to stare at. This is what the body oil looks like. I will say it comes in a glass bottle and the packaging on this feels very nice. It makes me surprised that this is coming from ColourPop or something that's not from a more luxury type brand. The packaging is also beautiful because we've just got little shimmers inside of it. It's pink, it's so cute. This is definitely something you would wanna have on your vanity. This is a face and body highlight. The packaging is super adorable, but it's also pretty cheaply made. But it's okay because like I said, it's really cute. This is what it looks like on the inside. You get a nice huge mirror on one side and then you get a really gigantic highlight on the other side. You get about 5.20 grams or 0.18 ounces. That's a pretty decent amount. This is for all over the body. It's this nice pink highlight. I feel like this would make a really good compact when it does run out. It would just work really nicely as like a compact mirror because it's so lightweight and thin. The next product we have is the QT Mark Face Stamp. So this is supposed to give a heart stamp and it's supposed to be unique from the other ColourPop stamps in that this comes in pink ink. So we're definitely gonna try this on. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, super cute. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like this shade of pink? This is currently like my favorite shade of pink. I have this color of pink everywhere. The last three products that I have are the eyeshadow kits. This is what the outside packaging looks like. This is called the 143 palette, which means I love you. These are pressed powder palettes and it contains five different shadows. I will mention that three, four of them say, state that they are not intended for the immediate eye area. I think what they're meaning by that is that you will get a little bit of a stain. And from what I've noticed with applying more makeup on recently is that they do leave a little bit of a stain on the eyelids so i would say definitely make sure to wash your face at night and use really good skincare if you are going to be using eyeshadows that are not intended for the immediate eye area i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what they mean by not intended for the immediate eye area in the sense that it can actually stain your eye a little bit it's really neat to see them come out with this five pan palette i do still love their other um I think it's like a nine pan palette, but this is neat and it's also very, very travel friendly. The colors are super cute. We have little hearts here and the ColourPop logo in this like Roman Gothic font. And then on the back, you have little hearts that tell you what each color is. Super, super cute packaging. The next one is the red package, which is called Sealed with a Kiss. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't watch other videos. It's got lips and roses, a common theme that we're seeing with all of the outside packaging. Another cool thing with the packaging is that the outside um, pieces are like raised up, the outside images are raised up a little bit. Even the SWAK logo is raised up, so that makes it just, you know, a little bit more fun. And again, same thing on the back, it shows all the colors. This one has one color that is not intended for the immediate eye area, but super cute packaging, totally just perfect for 
um, Valentine's Day. This one looks like it's going to be more of a neutral palette. I really like that they included that. Um, I don't know if it's because I was playing around with the packaging or not, but the outside packaging, it's made out of plastic and it's kind of scratched up a little bit. Then the last eyeshadow five pan palette is the Melt For You palette. This comes in a light pale pink color. Again, we've got the roses and the lips and it tells you all the colors on the back, which these ones are <laughs> kind of hard to see. I feel like they should have changed the font because yeah, it's difficult to see that. These are lighter colors. It's kind of a combination. We have like a nude right here and then we've got like a red and a pinkish tone. And then on the back, it just says that one is not intended for the immediate eye area. And that is pretty much everything that I got from the collection. So now let's go ahead and get into swatches and trying everything I'm gonna on. go ahead and use Cutie. I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. This probably would be better if I used, let's see, if I used an actual shadow brush instead of a yep there we go okay that was my bad some colors are so pigmented that you can use a blending brush right away but this one you definitely need to use a eyeshadow brush wow that's actually really pretty like a true true pink this is what i love about color pop is that the shadows look like they do in the in the pans and my brown skin girls know the struggles with that i could also see you using this on your um using it as blush as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. So I want to go for something deeper um, in the crease. This is the Melt For You palette and I'm gonna go in with Dutch. Oh man, these shadows have so much fallout in the pan. I want to go in with Love. I feel like it will just go. This is a very fun color. I'll just say make sure that you are using the bright brush when you use these shadows because some brushes come off less pigmented and then the way you apply it like if I just dabbed it on there it was less pigmented so I had to drag it so we have this like crazy sparkle pressed glitter or whatever you call it called my boo in here and I'm just dying to use it so I'm gonna use it and pop that in the center of my eye I started using this without knowing that pressed glitter was bad for the eye area and I used it so many times that it's like, you know, I'm, I guess I'm just feeling brave. That's fun. Just so that I can use every single color, every single palette, I'm going to go in with Besos and then I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes. This isn't showing up that well. Okay, I see it a little bit, but I thought it would be like more metallic-y. Okay, I'm gonna try Bon Bon and do put this in my inner corner. Wow, I like that. Some of these colors would make really good highlights. I'm gonna complete this look with eyeliner and lashes and then we will come back. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like right now. Let's try out the face stamp. This is a heart, and I'm going to place it right underneath. How about here at the end of my wing? That's cute! I did get a little bit of the outline on there. Let's see if I can remove that. Ooh, the good old spoolie trick. Most makeup that you want to remove can be removed with a spoolie. Let's go ahead and try the highlighter. I'm really excited for this. Hmm. It's nice. I don't think I would recommend this. It's really coming off as just like shimmer. 
I don't really see pink. I just see like a champagne kind of color. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose. I could barely see it. It's not really showing up that well. Another thing I wanna do is I wanna put it on my collarbones. Ooh, okay, this one came off nicely. Well, it, should, it adds a nice shimmer. Oh my god, we're almost done. The last one um, that I have to use is the body shimmer. I've already tried this and there's just gonna be glitter everywhere. I'm gonna put a little bit on my shoulder because I'm really worried about it getting on my hair. I will say I really like this body oil. I like the way it feels and I, I think it kind of makes me want to use an actual body oil, but I'm not a fan of just all this glitter. I don't know when I would use this because the glitter actually does transfer and get everywhere. Um, so I don't feel very comfortable using it like ever. I'm gonna like, I guess complete this look, maybe do some pink blush. Unfortunately, that is the one product I couldn't get because they were all sold out. So I'm gonna go in with a Sailor Moon blush, which I'm pretty sure I'd be getting a very similar color with this. I really do like ColourPop blushes, so it makes sense why their blushes were sold out. Then again, the packaging was also very cute, so that could have contributed to why they were sold out. I'm going to finish it off by applying some powder. Ren, I hope this powder is um, safe to consume because I got a lot in my mouth. Very happy with this look. What do you guys think? So that completes this look. I do feel like this is a very strong Valentine's Day look. All right. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? I really like this collection. Um, I'm not a big fan of the body oil. If the glitter did not transfer, I would really like it, but the glitter transfers everywhere, so that's not really enjoyable. The highlight, uh, I wouldn't recommend this. I do think the packaging is so cute and I'm happy to have it. However, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it just kind of looks like they're shimmer. It's a little too subtle for me. If you want to use it all over the body, I say go for it. As far as the eyeshadow palettes go, I do really enjoy these. I love how pigmented they are. especially love the pink palette, how much pink I was able to get onto my lids. I really like these. They're small, they're travel friendly. I highly recommend them. ColourPop is just known for having really good eyeshadow. And then the heart stamp. This is super cute. If you want a heart stamp, definitely get it. That is it for the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to see more content in the future. I have a like Sailor Moon collection coming up. I have a Animal Crossing coming up. I also did a Wild Child collection video as well. So if you'd like to check that up, check that out. Just click the link above. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye.